The Saudis have made a real tactical error over the weekend in appearing to be threatening Western countries, anyone critical of them, because they're on the defensive. And obviously, President Trump is feeling the pressure as well. We have, joint, we have Republicans and Democrats in Congress asking for an investigation, business leaders dropping out of this financial crisis. So obviously, the administration wants to show it's acting. Although, will the Saudis ever really tell the truth about what happened? That's not likely, given the nature of their authoritarian political system. And how do we square uh, the president sending Pompeo uh, literally as we speak and at the same time suggesting that this might have been the work of uh, rogue killers, in his words? Well, you know, the president just hasn't been consistent. Last week, the president said we were not going to take punitive sanctions measures because of the $110 billion in promised arms sales by the United States to Saudi Arabia. This week, the president saying something quite different on 60 Minutes last night. Um, rogue killers. I have to assume what the president means by that is that these were Saudi intelligence, Saudi security officers. This was inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. There could be no other explanation of what rogue killers are, and that could presumably be one of the theories that the United States is operating under. Ambassador Burns, you've got Turkey coming out and saying that it has intelligence, that it essentially has proof that uh, the Saudis are, are behind this, you know, what, what they say is, is a murder of this journalist. If, if that does actually prove to be the case, and we determine as a country that it is, how does this play out in terms of punitive measures? Do you actually start to see some of those defense deals go away? Is it sanctions? Is it something else? The problem that the Saudis have is they've offered no plausible explanation of what happened. The, the videotapes show that Jamal Khashoggi walked into that consulate on October 2nd, 13 days ago. The videotapes show he did not walk out. So something happened to him. Either he was killed or he was apprehended and taken back to Saudi Arabia. And if the Saudis continue with that line, they're just going to increase the pressure on themselves. At the end of the day, President Trump has been down this road before with President Putin and whether he intervened in our elections. If the Saudis fail to tell the truth, I think there'll be pressure on the United States to have some kind of disavowal of the Saudi regime, rhetorically, some kind of sanctions. But I'd be very surprised if the administration took stronger action. I think they should, because what happened here uh, is an offense to the United States. Jamal Khashoggi was, a, was living in the United States as a permanent resident, so we have some obligation to defend him and to defend his family. Ambassador, that, that's the part that doesn't make sense to me, that this happened inside uh, the, the Saudi council. The, the King Salman says he knows nothing about it, uh, according to President Trump, which seems strange in and of itself. You, you would think he would know something about it, being kind of the, the absolute power over there. And, and then there's this pattern from the president with Putin, re repeating Putin's denials, and in this case, repeating King Salman's denials. What's the diplomatic impact of the president repeating the denial of someone when we don't really have or at least aren't releasing detailed information behind that. Right. I, I think it is an issue. Um, you know, in both cases, Putin and Salman, you're dealing with authoritarian leaders who don't normally, they're not normally transparent. They don't always tell the truth. They often don't tell the truth, especially when their country has been accused of something as serious as this. So for President Trump, this is a difficult balancing act. He doesn't want to end the relationship with Saudi Arabia. There are energy interests and regional interests. Saudi Arabia is part of the containment of Iran. But on the other hand, we have American values to uphold. And so the president needs to speak to both of these, both sides of the equation. I hope that there'll be a strong denunciation of what the Saudis have done, or at least the fact that they haven't told the truth. I hope there'll be some kind of punitive action. That's what the Republicans and Democrats in the Senate, uh, the 22 senators, are asking for. Um, but I think we're yeah. a long way from that because the Saudis are not likely to come clean on what happened.